Warning, this episode contains mentions of assault, drugs, descriptions of public indecency, sexual harassment, animal endangerment, a hit and run, assault, and other content that may not be suitable for some listeners. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome to the Everyday Nightmares podcast. Where we discuss the true and... The Patel nuts. The nut. Like, not like, nut. Patellas? B-E-T-E-L. Patel. Ah. I could be saying that completely wrong. I'm Sammy Madden. And I'm Dan Sly. And this is another fucking Friday. Specifically. Welcome! A floor dam. We can't do rock, paper, scissors, or happy birthday, but we synced on Florida Man. Yeah, there we sink on the weirdest stuff sometimes. Like, I don't think we sink. We were able to sink perfectly during badass women, but we can't during fucking anything else. Yeah, rock paper scissors is like hell. <laughs> sad sometimes because of the lag. Let's let's get into it. Yeah. All right. We you just got to do it confidently. All right. All right. All right. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot! That's the most violently we've ever done this, and I hurt my, both of my hands, <laughs> and we tied. It's scissors. All right, ready? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot! It's rock. It's both of them are rock. We, we tied again. All right, ready? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot! And you win. I chose paper, you chose scissors. Funny story. Uh, <laughs> I almost did scissors. I threw a scissor out first, and then you were lagging a little bit, so I was like, I'm going to do paper. (laughs) I didn't see what you did yet. Okay. To clarify. (laughs) Dan's not a cheater. I'm not. You're not. Rock, paper, scissors is an an honest game. Not if you're quick enough. Anyways. I don't know how you could cheat. Um, If you're Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. Naked Florida man humps tree punches deputy from FloridaMan.com. April 8th, 2020. At 10.54 a.m. What, 2021, I'm sorry. It was this year, recently. Oh, perfect. I was like, 2020? Man, what a year that was. And then you had to slap me in the face. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> Florida Man was arrested after doing very, quote, Florida Man, unquote, things, says the I article. I just really, I'm gonna inter- interject. I love the tone that you said Florida Man. You go, Florida Man! <laughs> I, I am very specifically, like, every time I hear myself, I'm like, ooh, I sound like a newscaster. I thought you were like, it sounded like the beginning of a Florida Man song, which I think we need. The world needs. There's probably one out there. Yeah, there's a Florida Man coloring book. I want it. Including humping a tree and running down a street in the nude. <laughs> I forgot about that part already. <laughs> Instead of tree hugger, it's tree humper. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of the uh, the guy that we learned about in history class, in world history class, who would like he would run around naked or something like that, tell everyone he was God, and if anyone opposed them, opposed him, he would like he would hip thrust in their direction. <laughs> I have no idea hip thrust. who you are talking about. None whatsoever. Uh, someone in history. If you know the old person who's most likely no longer alive that I am talking about now, please Tell us. email us or contact us wherever you'd like, because I really want to know. Hey, maybe we can we can talk about them. They are... he. He's your age. 21-year-old Alonso Sanchez was yeah. found by deputies. And was seen, quote, hugging and hip thrusting, unquote. <laughs> you still want to keep the heap, hip thrust, the heap thrusting? A tree. He was hip thrusting a tree. He was completely naked, and allegedly Alonzo was high at the time. I was going to ask you. Yes. Allegedly. Yeah. Okay, allegedly. Before deputies got to him, Alonzo Sanchez ran into the street and was nearly hit by a car that had to swerve to avoid him. Oh my god. Is the car fine? Doesn't say. Like, okay. 
I feel like if he caused an accident, the article would have said he caused oh, an accident. Oh, definitely. Okay. When deputies tried to arrest Sanchez, he decided that the correct course of action would be to punch one of them in the face. Uh-huh. Yeah. After a brief struggle, he was apprehended and taken to Lehigh Acres Regional Hospital. He faces a battery charge and was booked into the Lee County Jail after his hospital visit. I don't know why, like, he wouldn't be charged with public indecency. Yeah. Hear that, guys? You can be naked in Florida all you want, but you And can't. hump a tree? Yeah! <laughs> Did it say, was it, like, in his own yard? Um, Is there, like, some weird law where... He was running he down the street. On your own property? Oh, okay. He was running down the street naked. Yeah, that's a bit odd. Yeah. Maybe the other one was worse. Maybe streaking is just, like, a fine. Well, in some areas, it's a sex crime. Yeah, it should be, but maybe in Florida it's not counted as much. Peeping toms aren't taken seriously at all, so I wouldn't be surprised if that were the case. That is it for that naked Florida man, though. I'm sure we'll hear from another. You'll hear from another, but, oh, he's not naked yet. <laughs> That's a threat. Florida man arrested for tossing alligator into Wendy's drive through window. from June 13th, 2018, WBRZ.com. No author was listed. Palm Beach County. A man was arrested Monday for allegedly tossing a live alligator through the drive through window of a Wendy's restaurant in Loxahatchee, Florida. Flawless. Thank you. As usual, when I say things, never mess up. Never in my life. Stacey, who, what are you talking about? I didn't say screecher creature. Screeches creatures? I don't remember what I even said. I think it's screecher creature. Oh, this mini sub comes out before the actual episode that I'm referencing. So Stacey doesn't even know yet. So in Stacey's world, I didn't. I didn't say screeches creatures. Screechers creatures? You don't even remember what you said. <laughs> I don't. I genuinely don't. I'll remember next week after it's edited. According to Palm Beach County officials and the Florida Fish and Wildlife Con- Conservation... What the fuck? Flawless! See, flawless! That's how it's meant to be read! <laughs> <laughs> the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, 23-year-old Joshua Douglas James of Jupiter, Florida, which I didn't know there was a place called Jupiter in Florida. Um. I bet it's not as enchanting as it sounds. I'm moving there right now. Immediately, people are throwing live alligators into Wendy's drive throughs Like, it's not enchanting, but it sure is interesting. <laughs> it's not enchanting, but it's something. Yup. Admitted to officials that he picked up the American alligator on the side of the road. He later threw it from his white pickup truck into the Wendy's kitchen after ordering a large soft drink. The alligator was seized by FWC officers and released into a nearby canal, ABC News reports. How big? Uh, it's a... L- huh? How big? Oh, uh, this one didn't say its size, actually. I'm assuming not too big. No, I would say not, but it's illegal to capture alligators, so he's probably being charged with that and or assault. With the... With the deadly weapon. weapon. Debatably. <laughs> I mean, there's no debate that alligators are deadly. The way that the article, like, I wanted to know really bad why he did this. And it seems to him like it was a prank. Because he was like, I just want to order a soft drink. Just something easy so that he can get up to the window really quick and throw an alligator in. Like, that's how it feels. It's like Like, he had, like, he had, like, a moment of clarity in this Wendy's drive through He's like, ah, oh, shit, there's an alligator in my truck, and I need to get rid of it. And he just, it's like he dumped the evidence in this fucking Wendy's. But there are, o- there are almost always people standing by the window, unless he went to a vacant window, it doesn't say. <laughs> Stacy would do a better job writing the article. Stacy, you wouldn't let me down like this. Stacy would get us the facts. Stacy and her mom are the best reporting crew around. Is that it for alligators? Yep, that's it for alligators. 
Thanks. No problem, Boblum. Okay, so the headline for this one was weird, and it felt insulting to... She she killed someone. Uh, However, I, I did not like how they phrased it. It was like, woman claims to be Harry Potter after killing someone in a hit-and-run cl- crash. But, like, floridanewsheadline.com, nowhere in your article do you mention that, you piece of shit. Which part? The Harry Potter part or the hit-and-run part? The fact that she claimed this. Okay. Like, 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 that part is mentioned nowhere in the article. It was very clickbaity. Yeah. Okay, so... A Broward County woman is behind bars after a deadly hit-and-run crash in Boca Raton. According to police, 23-year-old Nastasia Snape was driving northbound in the area of 4000 North Ocean Boulevard at approximately 10.20 p.m. when she drove her car off the road and onto a sidewalk. It's literally probably because of her name, because her last name's yeah. Snape. Yeah, I kind of noticed that, too. But, like, what the fuck? Do your job and report the facts. Yeah. Bitch boy. Bitch boy. That's when, according to Snape's arrest report, Snape hit the victim who was walking southbound on the sidewalk. So it was, like, head-to-head collision with uh, just a person. Oh, God. Yeah. The victim has been... Identified by authorities as Sandra Feuerstein, she was rushed to Delray Medical Center, where unfortunately she was pronounced dead. Feuerstein was U.S. District Court Judge for the Eastern District of New York. Oh. Yeah, acting U.S. Attorney Mark J. Lesko uh, wrote in a tweet uh, about mourning her. I did not see that there was more. Actually, that's... Jesus Christ. All of that situation is just plain awful. Glad I sandwiched it. Yeah, me too. Is that it? Yeah. What a fantastic follow-up I have for you. Uh Uh-oh. This article was written January 24th, 2021 by Dr. J. Satire. Is what the name it fucking gives. It's from rings.com. R-I-N-G. One, two, three, four, five S's following it. Sexy. And... Are you ready for this headline? Yes. Florida man arrested for hanging from a traffic light and pooping on cars. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the one. Do I even need any more context? Like, <laughs> that's pretty straightforward. This person wrote a lot of jokes in here, so I'm going to read it for you anyway. <laughs> okay. Tallahassee, Florida. Janos. Slint, I believe, S-L-Y-N-T. Yeah, I would say slint, yeah. Slint sounds correct. Age 47 was caught in his trailer park hours after running away from an intersection. 47? Yeah. Okay. What? Old. Oh, I thought that was like, yeah, yeah, I guess. Old to be, you know. Hanging from a traffic light light and pooping? (laughs) Yeah. Hanging from a traffic light. I'd expect anyone to poop in public after what I saw in retail. (laughs) <laughs> just, just anyone basically yeah disgusting oh yeah okay they caught him at a trailer park hours after running away from an intersection where he had just shot on half a dozen cars how much poop was in his asshole <laughs> oh i uh, <laughs> Thinking about this is really funny until you start asking questions and details and... (laughs) A trail of shite led from the left turn lane to his locale. Slint was caught brown-handed walking back to his trailer from the scene of the crime. He tried to hide, but the smell gave him away. Okay. A quick-footed officer also noted the shape and size of the corn from the crime scene. That was consistent with the corn found attached to Slint's butt hair. (laughs) (laughs) Janos claims he was seeking retribution for all the assholes whom he comes into contact with as a Walmart greeter. Which, I get it, you're right. Guy died holds nothing against him at this point in the story. Quote, 
people shit on me all day. I decided it was time to fight back, unquote. Slit is being held on a $50,000 bond while awaiting trial. He is being housed alone as he is a shit-flinging threat. And it's not even April Fool's. Why would someone write this as a joke in the middle of January? Yeah, I know! It's hilarious, though. Alright, I have a little bit of a sour note to end on for myself. But it's a short sour note. Cool, because I have another lighthearted one afterwards. Sexy of us. Perfect week for you to do this. Masao woman who coughed in face of cancer patient gets 30 days in jail. Fuck yeah! Uh, this is again from floridanewsheadlines.com. Fernandina Beach woman who coughed on and then threatened another shopper inside a Jacksonville Pier 1 Imports. A Pier 1 Imports? Oh my god, are you kidding me? A Pier 1 Imports? That's where you're gonna do this? Don't do it anywhere, but... She was sentenced to 30 days in jail on Thursday. This was posted six days ago, followed by six months of probation. She deserves it. She does. Because... Who spits on a cancer patient? Not even that. They're immunocompromised. Who just spits on anyone, but especially in a time like this? Uh, yeah, it was fucked up as hell. Yeah. I dislike it. Me too. I'm glad she's, she's going to jail. All right. You ready for my next one? Yes. Man tried to trade live alligator for beer at Miami store, FWC. What? <laughs> okay, what? so I literally can't remember already if you said you thought you found, you said you thought you found my alligator story. I didn't. Mine was a different one. Yeah, I know. And in my head, I was like, you know, there are a lot of alligator in Florida. I bet he didn't. Fuck you. <laughs> And I was right. Judging by your reaction, I was right. Yeah. <laughs> this is from NBCMiami.com by Brian Hamacher and Hank Tester. Published December 17th, 2013. Updated on December 18th, 2013. So this one's a bit older. Uh, but I, you know, it's only been really sad stuff in the Florida department lately, and I, I wanted something we could laugh at. Fair enough. A man who tried to trade a live four-foot alligator for a pack of beer at a Miami convenience store was cited for charges related to illegally capturing the gator, officials said. Fernando Cagnet Aguilera was cited after he tried to trade the alligator for beer at the Santa Ana Market at 3000 Northwest 12th Avenue back on December 10th. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission spokesman George Pino said Tuesday, quote, I have never experienced anything like this in 25 years in law enforcement, unquote, Pino said. On Tuesday evening, several news cameras, several news camera crews gathered outside Aguilera's Alapata home seeking an interview, but he became hostile. Aguilera reportedly demanded money, and when he did not get it, he shouted obscenities and lunged at a WSVN photographer. I'm not laughing at that part. I'm laughing at the shouting obscenities part. Yeah, that's fair, because, um... It could be but... anything. Was he threatening people, or was he just standing in his lawn yelling tits? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? Don't do that to me. <laughs> Don't, just drop... <laughs> Don't just drop the word tits. <laughs> <clears throat> Video showed and broke the reporter's camera. He broke the reporter's camera. Okay. Miami police were called to the scene and a report was filed against Aguilera, according to WSBN. Hours after the interview, Aguilera remained posted outside of his home and refused to speak to any members of the media. According to Pino, Aguilera found the gator at a nearby park, trapped it, and brought it to the store. He approached the clerk with the trade proposal, but the clerk called the authorities. I just can't imagine. I had someone try and trade me a necklace for goods before, which was odd. Um, but I can't imagine someone bringing me an alligator. I mean, have you ever seen that post? It's like, I want to go back to the barter and trade system. What the fuck is three dollars? Give me a pig. I know what a pig is. I know what I can do with the pig. What is three dollars? 
Give yes. me a pig. I haven't seen that post, but I agree. Give me a gator. Give me a gator. Quote, this is absolutely bizarre. I can't imagine somebody wanting to barter a live four-foot alligator for a 12-pack of beer. Four feet? (laughs) That's a large toddler. Yeah, that's a large dude. A big lizard. It makes no sense to me, unquote, Pino said. FWC officers responded and took the alligator from Aguilera, who was cited for taking possession of and trying to sell the alligator. I mean... Quote... Sorry, go ahead. Is it selling? He was trying to trade it for a 12-pack of beer. It was a transaction. I suppose, but I feel like it's barter and trade, really. Honestly, for an alligator, considering what, like, alligator skin purses potentially even alligator meat goes for, he probably could have gotten more if it was legal. Four-foot gator? Trapped it? Well, I was gonna say he was probably charged with selling because it's not something that anyone's fucking seen before. (laughs) They're like, what do we fucking charge this guy with? We don't have a law against bartering an alligator. (laughs) Can we count it as selling? Sure. Yes, try to sell it for 12 years. Yes, (laughs) it's... Quote, it was pretty much in good shape. We didn't notice any unusual conditions on it, unquote, Pino said. The alligator was released back into the wild. Pino said it is prohibited to harass, touch, or feed alligators in Florida. Which is how I knew that earlier, and I almost told you, but I didn't want you to know that I had two alligators today. You? So then he would throw you off. Told me you had two alligators in the group chat? <laughs> I did. I sure did. Oh my god. Yeah, that's it. Oh shit. Um. Yeah, we have to do. We have to talk now. We have to say. Thanks for coming to another fucking Friday. We talked about Florida men again, and some shitty Florida women. Uh. Talked about some completely innocent Florida alligators, though. You know, all alligators are evil. What? And I love them for it. They're evil and they can do what they want. (laughs) Sometimes I just say things and it makes Dan absolutely miserable. I'm just... I was caught off guard by a lot. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Just alligators are pure evil. I have thoughts like these too, but... You choose not to share. I never think about other people... No, I just don't think about other people having thoughts like these. So when I hear their thoughts that I haven't had that are like this, it's wild. <laughs> <laughs> that sentence made no sense. Um, it, I bet Stacy understood it just fine. Um, I think it was Stacy's great, 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 great grandmother for whatever form of old English just came out of your mouth. I don't know if that was old English. It sounds more like someone took a scrabble board and like flipped it over <laughs> and just poured and then the just whatever happened happened mouth. yeah all right it's like you had a wall of just like duct tape but like the sticky side out and you were just like throwing words at it or like scrabble pieces yeah that's what happened yeah and that's what this sentence had turned into just a little bit um <laughs> so thank you again everybody for listening yeah happy friday happy fucking Stacey. friday and everyone, and everyone who's, who's not, not stacy hey! what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> uh so depending on where you are good night good morning and, and happy, happy birthday, birthday. Confident on the happy birthday. We do. Like we were with the rock, paper, scissors, it went better.
Thanks for listening to Everyday Nightmares. If there was anything in this episode that may have triggered you, first of all, we apologize. Second of all, we would love it if you would inform us of what triggered you specifically so that we may provide a warning for it in future episodes in order to keep you safe from any harm that could come to you via listening to this podcast. If you have corrections, questions, or additions, please let us know. And if you have stories of your own, you can email us at everydaynightmarespodcast at gmail.com. Please include your pronouns. And if you would like to have your name read on air in our mini-sodes, please sign your name at the bottom. You can follow us on Twitter at ED Nightmares, Instagram at Everyday Nightmares Podcast, and TikTok at Everyday Nightmares Pod. If you like the podcast, don't forget to like, rate, review, comment, subscribe, or follow wherever you are listening. It is the best way to spread the word. If you'd like to show your support and get a shout out on air, visit our Patreon or Ko-fi. You can get access to bonus episodes, bloopers, and even have the opportunity to pick your own episode topic and or case. Can I have to sneeze? But now that I've acknowledged it, I'll never be able to sneeze again. You said that exact same thing last week. I just edited it out the second time. <laughs> the sneeze? Uh, no, you saying exactly that. Because, you see, what happened was, I, uh, well, I didn't save the episode, and then my computer froze, so I had to shut it off. <laughs> oh, God. So. This isn't very funny. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> Welcome to Everyday Nightmares, where we vent about our problems. <laughs> I meant to say Welcome Everyday to Nightmares After Hours. With comedy. Oh. You can tell the joke again if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> no, because personally, I think it's funnier that I fucked up. Okay, but personally, I get, because, like, I fuck up words all the time, so I completely get being like, I'm gonna say something so smooth and so cool, and then you say it, and you fuck it up, and then it just falls flat, and you're like, well, shit. (laughs) (laughs) It's my personal frustration, so, uh, I respect your decision of wanting to do that, if you would want to do that, if you I don't, I don't think I do, thank you, But you don't need to? You don't? Okay. Uh, No, Uh, no, I don't. I think So I just vented about another problem of mine. <laughs> it's your turn. I, uh, I have no problems, I don't go to therapy, and I'm not on antidepressants. <laughs> you can cut this next part if you'd like, but... Have you ever seen a bigger lie, Stacey? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening! Thank you! Thank you, Stacy, for you and yours.